At JJ Suspenders, we know suspenders. It's literally what we deal with every single day. And one of the most common questions that we get asked is about choosing the proper suspender width. The first thing you're gonna wanna do after you've decided to wear suspenders to an event is to pick the right width. And as a matter of fact, it's probably one of the most important things that you can do to make sure that your suspenders look incredible. It's probably easiest to think of this on a formality scale. On one end, the very casual end being skinny suspenders, working our way up the formality all the way to wider suspenders, which are the most formal. Generally, you're gonna to wanna to consider three important factors when choosing suspenders. That is the event that you're going to, your physique, and your outfit. Now these are rules of thumb and you can push and pull them just a little bit. The whole idea here is to get you feeling comfortable and confident while wearing your suspenders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all of the popular widths and their application so you can make the right choice for yourself. Now earlier I mentioned that there is a formality scale when it comes to width, but there are a couple of other factors which contribute to the formality of suspenders and it is possible to dress up or dress down a pair of suspenders, so I wanna kinda go into that now. For example, you could use the button attachment rather than the clips on a pair of skinnier suspenders. Button attachments are usually found on higher end suspenders, so they tend to dress up this look. One of the cool things about JJ suspenders is they actually include interchangeable button and clip attachments. So if you don't like the color of the clips, you can change those. They also have additional buttons with a little sewing kit with different colored thread. So you can sew buttons on the inside of your own trousers. This is something that you typically have to pay a tailor to do. The other non-width factor when it comes to the formality of your suspenders is the material that they're made of. So elastic suspenders are less formal than silk, polyester, or cotton suspenders. So if you're wearing a wider pair of suspenders, they won't look as formal if they're made out of elastic. However, if you're going after that very formal look, you should definitely consider a non-elastic alternative. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to the widths. The first one we're going to talk about is the ultra skinny suspender at half an inch. Now this is a very young and hip look, so it tends to look really good with casual clothing, although you can dress it up with like an ultra modern suit. But if you're looking for a very formal and classic look, you want to avoid this or if you're heavier set. The three quarter to one inch suspender is considered a skinny suspender. And now these are very popular with the younger crowd, especially at weddings, which are becoming less traditionally formal. And the great thing about these two is that they tend to be sort of a chameleon. They look really good with informal outfits as well as more dressed up ones. And if you have a narrower frame, they look really good with that physique. And a quick note on these skinnier suspenders, because of fast fashion places like H&M, most traditional tailors see these as lower quality suspenders and that only the wider ones are really high quality. That's really not the case anymore. And with these skinnier models being favored by millennials and the younger crowd, there are more high quality options available than ever before. One inch to inch and a quarter suspenders are considered your modern formal suspenders. As you get over one inch in width, you get straight out of the skinny territory. This is the kind of suspender that you're gonna reach for when you're going to a formal event or you just wanna look nice. This is what most people picture in their mind when they think of suspenders. These are the suspenders that look good with basically anything. So if you're wearing a suit, if you're wearing trousers and a jacket, if you're just dressed up nicely and going to any number of different events, these are the ones that you're gonna wanna reach for. Inch and a quarter to two inch suspenders are considered your traditional formal wide suspenders. And back in the day, if you're looking to get as dressed up as possible for a very formal event, this is what you would grab. So unless that's the case, or you're very heavy set, you may wanna consider one of the other alternatives. But if you're a skinnier guy, you still may want to consider something closer to the one inch range because sometimes these can overpower your look. But if you're looking for the most formal option available, make sure they're not made out of elastic and make sure that you use those button attachments. The only exception on width when it comes to formality is in the case of leather suspenders. Now these look better when they're on the skinnier side, unless you're going for a very Western or workwear look. And speaking of wide leather suspenders, these are really meant for work and should definitely not be used at any kind of formal occasion. I hope that this video was informative. Be sure to go over to JJ Suspenders for more style guides and they have all of the different widths that we talked about today available as well. And each pair comes with a button or clip attachment along with buttons and a sewing kit to sew those buttons on the inside of your trousers. Don't forget, that's the way you could take a skinnier suspender and make them look more formal. Thank you very much and let us know your thoughts in the comments.